All right, so check this out. If I give this AI tool, Dolly, this prompt to create an image of me when I was 10 years old, living life in Uzbekistan, that's where I used to live. I will spit out this image. Let's go ahead and give it that prompt. Create an image of a 10, 10 year old boy living life in Uzbekistan. And he is standing in front of his school. Okay, so it gave us this image, which it thinks this is what a boy living life in Uzbekistan, the architecture behind him is very Uzbeki. And, uh, you know, he's dressed like he's supposed to as a 10 year old boy. So everything looks cool. So now what I want to do is I want to change the aspect ratio of this picture to be at 169, because that's what your the aspect ratio that we use for YouTube. And also I want to give it a, you know, I want to, I want to style him like I would style myself with my haircut and how I, how I look. So let's do that. Change the image to a 16, nine ratio and give the boy a side ported hair style and a faded hair cut. And also very importantly, make him extremely handsome. Super important. Anyways, we got our character. And in today's video, I'm gonna use this AI image generator to narrate the story of my life. Me being born in Afghanistan, moving to Uzbekistan, living 10 years of my life and being pretty much raised in Uzbekistan and then moving over to the US. And I want to do all of that with images created and generated by this AI tool. In essence, I want this AI tool to make my video today. Except we have one slight problem. Our problem is that this current AI tool, Dolly, which is by OpenAI, has, let's just call it a slight memory problem. It doesn't really remember faces. So if you tell it, hey, create one face, and you know, change something about this picture. I'll give you two different people. Let me let me give you an example. So if I say, all right, now place me in a classroom with my classmates around me. So we got that image, and clearly, this uh, handsome fellow looks a lot more different than this guy. And that's the problem with uh, Dolly, the current image generator that OpenAI uses. It does not keep consistency of the same character. So it doesn't really remember faces that well. And I thought to myself, all right, if I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna narrate a story of my life, you know, from Afghanistan to Uzbekistan to the US now, for me and for the story to make sense and for you guys to be actually enticed to watch this, at least we should have the same character or a consistent looking character. So doing it with this current tool would not really make sense for me. Except we now have a solution. We have a solution because now there's a new GBT. We go to explore GBTs. If you go to Dolly, there's one called consistent character GBT. Exactly what you and I were looking for. So let's go ahead and click on that. And now this new GBT wants us to build a character. So what you do here is you build out the character and then based on that character that you build out, then you give it prompts. All right, you know, the character is currently in a classroom setting or he's in a soccer field playing soccer, and it will give you the same character on all these different settings. So let's click on this. Is the character male or female? Male. <clears throat> His name is Haroon, it's about me. All right, so we have a dude. We have the parted haircut. He looks like he's about 10 years old. Now we can change the expressions, right? So it's asking us, um, what would you like to vary in each image? expression, action, and pose. Uh, all three, because if I want the character to, you know, show me different expressions, I want that. Different actions, like playing soccer and those things, I want actions as well, and the poses as well, uh, would make sense. So I'll pick all three. I want the image to be a scene uh, ratio. And I asked you this. Character is sitting at a table in this class. So although I told it to make the character uh, more handsome and change some things about it, it still kept that consistency. So these two characters look a lot better and a lot more alike than the first two characters with just the image generator that Dolly had. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I have a story that I've already made of my life and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create images for that story using this current character and you're just gonna watch me do this and uh, spat up one thought.
Okay, so that was extremely brutal. It took me way longer than I thought it would. Uh, only, first of all, like I said, this thing is also not as consistent with the faces as uh, it claims to be, but it is a lot better, right? And second of all, you have to be extremely honest and detailed of what you want in the photos. So if I want to be in this photo, right, a lot of times what it would do is it would spit out a photo and then you as a character or whatever character you build out is face front in that image. Whatever else you want in the background, like a soccer field or a classroom, I'll put that in the background, but you are face front standing there in front of the image, which a lot of times doesn't really equate to what you want the image to be. So you have to be very detailed saying things like, I wanna be seated on a desk, writing on a piece of paper, and I want the image to be zoomed out. So you have to literally give it very clear instructions of what the image it is that you want that you have in your head. And then hopefully through a few different tries, it will give you that image. But with that being said, I think I have all the images in place and I think we're in a good place. So I'm gonna send all of these over to my editor and now you're gonna watch and hopefully enjoy the story of my life animated using artificial intelligence. Enjoy. Hey everyone, my name is Haroon and in this photo that you're seeing here, I'm 10 years old, living in a country called Uzbekistan. But before I talk about my life in Uzbekistan, let's backtrack a little bit and talk about how I ended up in Uzbekistan. So it's the year 1992 and a super handsome little baby was born in Afghanistan. All right, realistically, it wasn't this intense. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I wasn't born in rubble, although that would make for a much cooler story. But in reality, I was actually born in a proper hospital under proper care. And although through these images, it seems like everything in Afghanistan at the time was good and peaceful because I was born in a good hospital with nurses around me. In reality, it wasn't because a little over a decade prior to my birth, the Russians had invaded Afghanistan and what was once a prosperous nation headed towards modernization was halted by this invasion. To seek refuge and live a better life, my family migrated over to Uzbekistan while I was only a few months old. Uzbekistan was cool. Ironically so, Uzbekistan was also once a part of the USSR. So the Russian culture was still pretty prominent there. And I was raised amongst the Russian people and went to a Russian school, which is why Today, I can speak Russian fluently. My childhood in Uzbekistan was probably some of the best memories that I had in my life. And it's all because first, the internet back then wasn't as big as it is today. So most of the days of my time spent with friends were face to face outside, even if it meant that me and my friends just beat up to wrestle each other. Yes, the fighting culture in Uzbekistan because it was a part of Russia was also pretty big, but it's okay because I think that built stronger men. I like that. And second, why I think it was a good childhood was because the food. Man, the food in Uzbekistan was fantastic. I remember going to the bazaars and buying these meat dumplings called sambosas, Uzbeki sambosas. Bro, nothing will ever beat the taste of a fresh Uzbeki sambosa fresh from an oven. It was so good. My father was a doctor with the United Nations at the time in Uzbekistan. And when I was around 10 years old, he was offered through the UN to move to the US. As fantastic as life was in Uzbekistan, moving to the States was a no-brainer for me and my family because it allowed us for a better life, better education, and obviously more opportunities. So I remember when we decided to move, on our first day when we got to the airport, I had never been on a plane before. So I'm about to get on a plane, and I was so excited. I was like, yo, this is dope. I'm about to go to America. And I remember on that plane, as soon as I found out that first Coke and second pretzels were free, I remember ordering Coca-Cola like I was an alcoholic at an all-you-can-drink bar and it was on someone else's tab. So we finally get to the States and my first reaction was this is a lot different than what I'm used to than my life before. So my objective right away became to get as acclimated to the US lifestyle as quickly as I could. So the first thing I started to do was eat a lot of apple pie. Second thing I started to do was play a lot of baseball. It got to a point where I even ate apple pie while playing baseball. But yeah, all jokes aside, the US has been good to my family and I. I was able to complete my education here, start a few businesses, buy nice houses and cars, and most importantly, start this YouTube channel to tell you all my story. And I hope that you enjoyed this story. As always, join the family, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.